Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we present our seventh video in the I-55 series, and we begin at mile marker 81 in Hines County, Mississippi. We're well into the Jackson Metropolitan Statistical Area, and we'll be passing through the state capitol soon. We enter the city of Byram, which had an estimated population of 11,428 as of 2019. Byram was originally incorporated in 1870 and named for A.M. Byram, an early settler who donated land for a railroad depot. The city fell upon hard times during the Great Depression and couldn't fund municipal services. Its incorporation was surrendered and it became an unincorporated census-designated place. For nearly 20 years, nearby Jackson had attempted to annex Byram, and unhappy citizens filed suit, fearing higher property taxes and unreliable city services such as lack of road repair and slow police response times. In June of 2009, Byram once again incorporated and became a city, safeguarding it against future threat of annexation. We enter the city of Jackson, the capital and most populous city in Mississippi. As of 2019, the estimated population of Jackson was 160,628. Jackson has quite an extensive and long history, but I only have about 90 seconds to talk about it, so we'll stick to transportation infrastructure. Jackson is a crossroads of Interstates 55 and 20, along with U.S. Highways 51 and 80, with U.S. 49 running through it diagonally. The Illinois Central Railroad, now owned by Canadian National, runs through the city, including Amtrak service. Between 2014 and 2018, seven miles of I-55 on the south side of Jackson, including where we are now, underwent a major reconstruction to widen the road and rebuild some interchanges. If you look back in the 504 Road Trips archive, you can find some video filmed here while the construction was underway. We approach a junction with I-20, and we'll see a short concurrency between the two highways. We'll also see a new construction project. Just before we reach the split for I-20 West, you can see a left-hand exit that's closed. This should be where US-51 would separate from I-55, but due to that closure, 
US-51 appears to follow the ramp at exit 92C on the left and then branches off of that ramp onto another exit. None of this is indicated on any signs, so it would be very difficult to follow US-51 without some advanced planning. As we join I-20 East, we also pick up US-49 South, which we covered in an earlier series. The construction here, combined with the rainy weather, has created quite a mess. To remain on I-55, we have to get over to the left two lanes. Somewhere in here on the left, there used to be an exit that accessed State Street and Gallatin Street, and that was also where US-51 exited, but that has been done away with completely. This leaves the current route of US-51 uncertain. At the Pearl River, we enter Rankin County, and I-55 separates from I-20 just ahead on a left-hand exit, turning north again. We pick up Grenada and Memphis as the control cities for I-55. As quickly as we entered Rankin County, we leave it again, returning to Hines County in the city of Jackson. For the next several miles, we'll be traveling on the eastern edge of Jackson on urban interstate with frequent exits. Throughout Jackson, there are numerous big green overhead signs with I-55 reassurance in the distant control cities. As if to say, this is the way out, just keep going. Even though traffic is light today, I just can't help to feel like the interstate here is chaotic and my primary motivation is to get back to the rural interstate that lies ahead. I feel this way every time I go through Jackson and I don't know why. When you get off the interstate onto the surface streets, everything seems more orderly and moves at a slower pace. It's not anything I have against Jackson, it's just the interstate. Am I the only person who gets this feeling driving through here? Just a reminder, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it to be notified of when our new videos come out. And give us a thumbs up or hit the new super thanks button if you enjoy our videos.
We conclude today's video at mile marker 103. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help support our channel, please check out our merchandise at 504roadtrips.spreadshirt.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 Road Trip.